Hello everyone, it's time for us to go and do a quick comparison between the iPhone 16 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro and see what you're getting with the 16 Pro. Maybe it makes more sense to keep your 12 Pro one more generation. We'll talk about that throughout this whole entire video. But first of all, with the bodies themselves, the 12 Pro and the 16 Pro are slightly different. The 12 Pro is giving you a 6.1 inch Super Retina XR OLED display. The 16 Pro is giving you a 6.3 inch you know, OLED display. So it is a bigger panel inside of the 16 Pro, but you're also getting a brighter panel and a higher refresh rate at 120 frames per second. Unfortunately, the 12 Pro does not have that type of capability, which is kind of unfortunate. Lightning port on the bottom of the 12 Pro, USB Type-C port on the bottom on the bottom of the iPhone 16 Pro. So pretty big difference in and of itself. Flat sides all throughout. On the back side, you're getting a frosted glass back on the back of both these phones. Triple camera setup with a LiDAR sensor on the back of these phones as well, which is genuinely a very, very cool thing to have. And I do think if you're going to go through and pick up both these phones, you know, the bodies are fairly similar, but definitely the 16 Pro is definitely winning here. You're also getting a camera button on the iPhone 16 Pro. The 12 Pro didn't have that. So now you can go through, click on that button. You can zoom in and zoom out by just scrolling on it, which is really cool. And you can also go through and utilize way more features. Like you're getting higher megapixel counted photos and videos. You're getting, you know, super high resolution photos. You're getting 4K at up to 120 frames per second, spatial photos and videos, all the photographic styles that are latest, and you're getting 5x zoom versus the 2x zoom inside of the 12 Pro. So that right there is another very big difference as well. You're also getting the dynamic island inside of that iPhone, a lot more emergency SOS features. You're getting up to 10 hours more video playback on the iPhone 16 Pro than the 12 Pro, and you're also getting the A18 Bionic chip inside, which is going to be way faster than the A14 you know, that was inside of the iPhone 12 Pro. So overall, I'll definitely tell you more RAM, more power, better display, way better camera. The iPhone 16 Pro makes so much more sense to buy than the 12 Pro, but I think the 12 Pro is still a fairly good phone to buy for the most part as well. So from that side, that kind of covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.